In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to install RabbitMQ on your self-hosted server using Cleaver, and also how to expose the management portal. In Cleaver, I already provisioned a fresh server called BunnyRabbit. And from here, we're going to go over to the Quick Script section and create a new Quick Script with the installation instructions for installing RabbitMQ on our server. Okay, well, click on Add New Quick Script. We'll install Rabbit. MQ. For the script, I'm just going to paste it in here, but I'll share a link on the description to where you can find the script. But it's basically just going to install RabbitMQ on a server. Okay, so we install the script there, and then we'll click on Add. And now we just want to click on the ellipses, and then click on Run Now, and we're going to run this on our Bunny Rabbit server. While this is in the process of installing, we can now go back to our server and add your SSH key to the server. And I didn't show the process of creating it since I didn't want you to see my key. However, I'll link to the instructions for creating a new SSH key on your Cleaver server. Copy that and we're gonna open up our terminal and then SSH into the server as root user. The installation should be done by now. So let's go ahead and check that service to see if it's up and running. So we'll type in systemctl status rabbit key MQ server. And good, looks like it's active and running. And while we're here, let's also add in the management plugin for RabbitMQ. To do that, we're gonna type in RabbitMQ hyphen plugins, and then space enable space RabbitMQ, and then underscore management. Perfect, it looks like that plugin has been added and started. Let's go back and verify that our RabbitMQ server is still running. Everything looks good. All right, it says active and I don't see any errors. Cool, so we should be good with our terminal. Let's go ahead and close it out. And now in our server section, we wanna to go to process monitors and we're gonna create a new process monitor for RabbitMQ. All right, let's call this RabbitMQ. And the command that we'll use is systemctl and then space start and then rabbit and q underscore actually not underscore hyphen server All right and we'll want to run this as root and then click on add process monitor and let's make sure this is all running good let's click on the ellipses and then click on check status and cool it looks like it's running and it's up and now from here we want to expose the management portal so we'll head over to the site section and then click on Add Site. And then in the App Type dropdown, we'll select Generic Port App. And then for Domain Name, let's just give this a free temporary one. And the default port that it should be running on is 15672. And we'll click on Add. Okay, cool, so our Generic Port App has been created and this should be exposing the app from the port but make it available over the web so let's check that out and click on visit site and we should see the login screen which we do which is cool and from here if you want to log in the default password for RabbitMQ should be guest all lowercase for username and same for password so let's try that out type in guest and then password guest and then login awesome and we see that here okay so that's how you could install RabbitMQ on your server using Cleaver